Okay, so we have decided to start this new series, unnamed right now, but we're gonna try to come up with a name, where every Sunday we just drive around and kind of talk about things. Our boys are having nap time in the back seat because they nap in the car. And um, we are going to just kind of discuss whatever comes to mind. So let's jump right in. Okay, so Manny is from a different country, he's from England. So let's start there. It's kind of, I'm gonna be interviewing you kind of. So what do you like better about England than America in your experience? Now this is all his experience, so I'll come for us. Um, well, not may, maybe not all, all of England and all of America is like this, but where I'm from, particularly in London, it's a lot of different cultures. I like yeah. that. It's like something different everywhere you go. Yeah. So you get to experience different things, even though you're in the same place. You know yeah. what I mean? And so in America, where actually most of the places Manny has lived, same for me, we've lived all the same places actually in America, now that I think about it. But we've mostly lived in small towns, and other than when we lived in Santa Fe, New Mexico, only time we've lived in a little bit of a bigger area that does have Santa Fe has quite a bit of culture but mostly we lived in small towns I'm from Indiana that's where we met real small town raised in a cornfield literally and then now we live in a really small town in northeast Texas um, near the Texarkana area so near Arkansas and all that just small town life and there's a lot of good things about that um, like the people are usually good and all of that. There's, you know, a lot of good things about them rallying together for people on it. There's a lot of good aspects to it, but I really do like the aspect of bigger cities of having more of like a melting pot of different cultures. And that's something that I do, uh, really kind of want and would like, would prefer than where we're at now. So I guess there's always those things that you would prefer. I've only been to England one time, um, which is kind of crazy because we've been together for a while, but I've only been once. Uh, it was a few years ago. And um, that's exactly what I noticed was like, as soon as you get off the plane, there's like all of these different cultures that are represented. And I think that that is actually the first time I've ever seen that much of that. And there it's very normal. And I'm sure it's like this in other cities. I'm sure it's even like this in big cities in America, but again, I've never lived in a, a huge city here. Um, but yeah, just different cultures are represented and um, it's not just all the same type of people with the same beliefs and with the same upbringing and with the same, you know, same color. Um, I feel like in small towns, that's typically the way that it works. And it's not really that all small towns like hate, you know, other people and things like that. Really, it's not the case. It just usually works out that way that typically there's like a one type of person that's represented in a smaller town. Plus, there's not that many people, so not that many options. But yeah, I do definitely, especially being, you know, raising like biracial children and stuff like that. I just think it's really important that they see other other um, people of color and things like that represented. And that's something that I'm really big on when we're watching shows and, and we both are, when we're doing different things, I want them to see different representation and not just be raised with this, what I call the small town mindset. And I feel like I'm allowed to say that because I was raised in a small town. But there's just this mindset that tends to come in small towns where, you know, you work the same kind of job, you, you know, some small towns is farming or things like that. And you just, you kind of grow up knowing you're going to do that. Nothing wrong with it, by the way. Farmers are incredible and really make the world better and have incredible jobs. But they kind of get in this mindset where like, there's only one job you can have. There's only one thing you can do. You have to go to college to do, you know, a certain thing. You have to, whatever, whatever that town might believe. It kind of tends to be one thing for each area or maybe different states are that way and um kind of the same thing with like culture and stuff uh different cultures are maybe honestly not as accepted as much just because of this mindset that people don't even really know why they have and it can kind of be honestly dangerous so i don't like that that's why i wanted to get out of a small town and i'm back in another one but you know wanting to kind of see things a little bit more in the world another thing i think is different that i prefer in England are houses. Yeah. Houses, mo I mean, you get some houses are similar to what you have in England. And obviously, I don't know all the types of houses in England. But here, it's like they all seem to be built kind of cheap. 
That's why yeah. newer houses particularly do are. it quickly, cheap. They look nice, but you can tell it's cheap. Yeah. And in England, I'm sure they have cheap, cheap ways they build houses and stuff like that. But it's made all of what I see of houses in England are brick houses, and obviously, it may not be that. Brick houses are all made the same, but to me it just seems better. Well, like I said, America is it's such a big place that there's just different, you know, different things in different places. And I know I've always wanted to live in Nashville, and Nashville is really, really, at least it used to be. I know things have probably changed because so many people have started moving to Nashville. I'm sure there are new builds and stuff that maybe are different. But back when I used to go a lot, Nashville was mainly brick houses. You would go to these subdivisions where it was all brick houses and honestly they all kind of just looked the same you know like typical subdivision but they were really nice brick houses and uh, you really don't see that that often my dad I was raised my dad was a, um, a carpenter a contractor he built houses for a living most of my life and that's kind of what you would see was you know I, I never really experienced a lot of brick houses uh, where, where I was from in Indiana so yeah definitely use different materials and things like that um, and but I feel like houses in America, in our part of America, Texas probably is maybe different from some places as well. Um, but I feel like they're usually bigger than the houses that I see. That's the one London. thing, yeah. You, know, you can get more for your money. It may yeah. be cheaper, but you get definitely more space. Because mm -hmm. in England, you spend you used to. I don't know what prices are like now, yeah. but you can spend one hundred and fifty thousand pounds on a house and you've got two bedrooms, a small living room, a small dining room and a small kitchen. And that's like, that would be normal. But here, if you spend like equivalent to that, when I was growing up, I don't know what it is like now, yeah. you'd get a five bedroom house for the same amount. But as I said, it, was, it is, built cheaper but in some cases it works out better right now everything is so different with house prices and everything anyway when Manny and I first were looking to get married and all that we're looking for a house and we were gonna buy a house that was I think it was like 140,000 I'm pretty sure that was literally the price of the house and it was huge $140,000 and it was a like hundred forty hundred fifty something like that and it was really big and it ended up selling before we were able to buy it and it's probably good because we ended up moving to new mexico right after we got married so it probably would have been pointless but i guess we could have sold it maybe that would have helped us i don't know but yeah that was how it was back then and now i mean that house was really big it was just it was probably what do you think bigger than the house we we bought here it was a pretty big house yeah, I think it was. yeah really tight tall ceilings it was really nice and now i mean that that would be absolutely not, not even half of what that kind of house would cost even in indiana and again we were small town indiana wasn't like this was a really particularly nice area um but it doesn't matter anymore really it used to be like the area you lived in mattered you know that would be an expensive area to live and this place would be better it doesn't matter right now it's all expensive we live in a super small town and the houses are extremely expensive <laughs> for what you're getting especially there's not really a lot of large houses in our area but they're still I mean could be easily be half a million dollars for like not a very large house which I know in, in bigger cities that's always been the norm but it wasn't like that in small towns back in the day now it doesn't matter where you live you've been to England one time yeah so what do you think what do you like better about England or what don't you like I I really like you said look with the culture the cultures being represented and all of that and his sisters and family think that this is strange because I don't think they feel this way but I like the food in England I think that even like the snacks generally just taste better um, there's not as many options which I think is why they think it's better here like they don't have like maybe 500 options of like basically the same cookie but you're you know <laughs> all these different flavors like in 500 oreos and all that they may not have all those options but what they do have tend to taste better like their chocolate tastes better even if it's like their kit kat bars even if it's the same technically the same thing it's not it tastes different and better um 
I also like being a mom now. I was telling somebody this the other day that all their stuff is a lot cleaner and better for you. Uh, they're, they're not into like all this food dyes and different things that we go so extreme with in America. Even their baby formula, I breastfeed, but if I didn't, I would absolutely order it from, um, from Europe, anywhere in Europe, because it's so much better. Regulations are better for things. Um, and then the only thing that I wouldn't like as far as living there, because I'm not used to it, is public transportation. Um, and I'm, I'm sure there's places you could live that maybe it would be different, but he's from London, and so that's where he went. And I'm not used to that at all, so I probably would not be able to go anywhere, and I'm being serious. Like, I'm very much small-town girl. I saw a video the other day about how Americans drive everywhere, and like an hour drive is nothing. We literally used to drive almost a full hour to go to Walmart, and we went all the time when I was growing up. We drove uh, over an hour to go to Sam's Club, which is where... You know, you can buy bulk groceries. My There's always a lot of people living in my house when I was growing up. So we'd always do that. Like we were just used to driving everywhere. I had never been on like any public transportation the way it was in England until we went there. And I was um, like, what was I, 21, 22 when we went to England? And I'd never done that before. 20, so 20, I think it was 23. 23, yeah, I guess I would've been probably 23. It was almost my birthday, so whatever I, I would I be. 23. Yeah. So, I mean, I had never experienced that. So I didn't love that just because it was really stressful for me. And it was crazy because you watch people that are used to that and it's like, it doesn't even phase them. So I guess you would get used to it, but that's the only thing that I didn't really like. I was thinking you thought eating baked beans for breakfast was weird. Baked beans for breakfast. Baked beans are definitely in America a dinner thing. And I always ate baked beans. They're something my, my parents always had with dinner. And so I was used to them. But having baked beans and eggs, particularly, that's what they normally, or that's what Manny, anyway, usually does. Full English. Yeah. I thought that was so strange. But when you actually go to England, the baked beans are different than the kind of baked beans that we have in America. Yeah, it's still was, good with ours, too. But they're, they're thing, different. It's like, you just try to find regular baked beans here. Like, beans and tomato sauce. You can't find it. It's all... Do they have, like, bacon, like barbecue, barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce. Yeah. Bacon bits in it. It's like, really? Like, can't just have it just plain old baked. I mean, you can find it, but you gotta like look hard just for a simple, right? Simple can of baked beans. Yeah, the foods are definitely different, and yeah, it just like even the baked beans just taste better. And honestly, I think a lot of that. I've never been like super like you know clean eating, like has to be this way. But I feel like it, a lot of that is because there's not so much added stuff in it, so it really does have a better taste. The drinks taste better, like. Um, pop there which I call it pop I know people are going to come for me on that one because a lot of people don't soda whatever you want to call it it tastes better there fizzy I just feel drinks. like fizzy drink is what they call it um I don't really meet that many people that call it pop and that's weird I mean I did when I was growing up everybody did but now that I've lived different places like nobody else does <laughs> and I'm always the odd one out because I guess in the south uh, nobody ever says pop that's very a northern thing for sure and then in the southwest in new mexico nobody did either what do they call it there soda i guess still soda. yeah because i remember the first time i said it in new mexico i said pop because i didn't really know that it was kind of a thing people didn't say and everybody there was like what are you talking about so apparently that's a controversial uh topic the whole pop soda thing because i've always said pop but yeah so manny's from england i'm from indiana we've lived in new mexico and texas and indiana together and looking into the future manny i know what his answer is going to be so that's why i'm asking this where would you want to live like if you could just pick not that we're looking to move right now or anything nobody panic if you're from our area but where would you want to live if you could just have your pick live anywhere like as in if we were to move and yeah, stay there for the rest of our lives or just the next yeah, see, place. that idea is hard for me. Like, I can't commit to that with anything right now. I'm not ready to just move somewhere and stay there forever. I'm still in my mind. I need to live a few more places. To probably stay from the places I've been, I would rather just move back to England and stay there. I prefer it there better. But I've always said I wanted to live in Canada, and I've never been to Canada. But I want to live in Canada because I feel like it's the best of both England and America. Yeah. Like from what I've seen. 
and it's kind of like a mixture. And I know people are going to say, you don't want to live in Canada, it's too cold, it snows a lot, whatever. That's actually my preference. I know I've never lived in Canada, but I am from, uh, not too far from Chicago. So if you've seen Chicago winters, they're really bad. Some years they are really, really, really bad. Um, but winter doesn't bother me. I'm very used to that. I actually very much prefer cold weather and snow over the Texas heat. If you have never been in Texas in the summertime, I mean, truly, I don't think there's anything like it. it I mean, it might temperature wise be the same somewhere else, but Texas just feels different. It is so hot here. <laughs> like it gets so unbelievably hot. The heat index is always outrageous. And the thing about Texas, it doesn't just get hot. Like that's one thing. You get a week of some extreme heat, that's fine. It stays that way for literally months. Like you will, we literally had heat advisory every day for what, like three months this past summer. Like no exaggeration, didn't stop. So I would much prefer, I'm not a big hot weather kind of person. I prefer cold weather. So I think I could do Canada. <laughs> Never been there in my life. But they do have, like they don't have apparently Target. I think so, some, I think a creator on TikTok said they didn't have Target or so they didn't have like a lot of the big places. I know that they don't have a lot of the things that we have. Like she said, it was a lot harder to shop there, which is why a lot of Canadians come over into America. But I feel like that's pretty easy to do <laughs> if you wanted to just do like a shopping day because people do it all the time. So depending on where you are, obviously. Yeah. Because I know like shipping and stuff, sometimes if you order it, it's like way too expensive, you know, to ship there and that kind of thing. So. I'll tell you where I have always wanted to live. Boy, I know where you want to live. You want to live in Nashville. It's in America, you yeah. You wanted to live in Mount Juliet. Mount Juliet, Tennessee is where I really, truly wanted to live. We used to go to Nashville every year, so I've been, you know, Franklin area, Mount Juliet, all of that. It's expensive, but I mean, everywhere is now, so at this point, that really doesn't matter in your decision making, because you're going to pay a lot no matter where you live. But, um... I've always wanted to live in Nashville area, and I think, honestly, it's because I just think and everybody's moving to Nashville now. Back then, when I decided on it, they really weren't doing that. It wasn't such a thing. Um, I feel like a lot of people went through... What? The only with musicians now is everybody. Right, now everyone is, but, you know, back, like, then, I guess people would, you know, like, when you see people online, content creators always wanted to move to L.A. I mean, those are the people I'm basing this on, because that's, you know, people I'm watching. Um, and so a lot of them moved to LA. Well, now I feel like content creators are all moving to Nashville because I see so many TikTokers and different things moving to Nashville. Actually, maybe we'll have to talk about this sometime. We interviewed for a job in Nashville a few years ago. So that would have been more than a few years ago. I don't want to see anybody here. It wasn't while we lived here. It was when we were still in New Mexico. Over five years. Uh-huh. We interviewed for a job there at a church plant, and that did not work out, but we actually went there and everything. That was Manny's first time being in Nashville, and we were really in the beginning, like pretty much set on that we were gonna take the job, and then just some things didn't work uh, financially and in some other ways with the job, but it would have been cool. Um, and I just really, truly didn't have peace about that specific job nothing against anybody it was just you know you get a feeling like this is not right right now so I don't think that was our time to do that and also I really feel like we were supposed to end up in Texas there's been so many things that happened here that I think needed to happen here but you know we were actually going to move to Nashville I also was going to move to Nashville for college I went there and actually toured some colleges Tribeca Nazarene University was actually the one that I was going to go to I even talked to them about scholarships and stuff so we were actually really serious about doing that and then I didn't go to college at all and ended up leading worship. What are you serious about moving to Hawaii? Well, I did actually get some uh, <laughs> things in the mail from Hawaii because I don't even know if you could do that anymore. Probably not because things are so expensive to ship. But back then, you could get like colleges to send you for no reason. I mean, you didn't have to prove that you were like going to go there or that you were even the right age or anything. I wasn't the right age. But you could get them to like send you all these big packets of stuff from their school. <laughs> And everything like information and everything so I did that with Hawaii because that's another place which I have no idea why I don't even really like beaches that much at all but I just thought that would be cool I don't know I never traveled a whole lot um, we mainly went to Nashville every year I think Americans if you know any or if you are one they typically pick like one place that they go <laughs> every year and ours was Nashville because we just knew it really well so and I loved it I loved all part and so we on that go. why do you think Americans don't mm -hmm. typically 
get out of the country. I know it's a huge country that you can go to different places and experience different things, but it's kind of the same to a, like yeah. a certain extent. It's like pretty much all the same. Well, if an American leaves the country for a vacation, they're going to Mexico. That's for sure. I mean, it's like, I mean, the majority of people, and I don't, I don't really know why that is. I guess just an easier trip or something, but that's pretty much the only place that they, that most really go. I'm sure, again, there are probably people, see, in my mind, because I was raised in such a small town, these are like big city people <laughs> that like go out of the country and do fancy stuff. Actually, I grew up, and maybe you guys did too if you're American, thinking that it was so expensive to leave the country that that's why we never did. It kind of is, but... But it really, in a, in a lot of places, isn't that much worse than traveling with the States. But um, my parents owned businesses growing up, and so we never really left a lot. It wasn't really that we didn't want to travel. We I mean, we went places, but it had to be kind of close. We didn't go for, like, long periods. It'd be, like, a week or five days, you know? So we couldn't really, like, go on a huge trip. Um, and also, people from small towns are usually terrified of that, honestly. I didn't even have a passport until I met Manny. My them. parents have never had passports. They're in their 70s. The first time when they got on a plane was to come visit us in New Mexico, right? No. No, they've been on a plane to go to Florida. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was, like, that was the first time. I knew you then, though, right? Yes. Yeah. That was probably so their first time. They were still older. Mm -hmm. And they were definitely in their probably 60s. Yeah. I don't know about my dad. He might have been older before. I'll have to ask him. But yeah, you know, we just never really like traveled far. Uh, my parents have, I think I said, still never been out of the country. And I only have the one time went to England and uh, France. We went to Paris while we were in England. Uh, kind of took a little day trip there. So that's the only places that I've been. I've never even been to Mexico. <laughs> but as I got older, I started leading worship. And so if you're involved in ministry, you know, especially if it's a small to mid-sized church, maybe the larger churches have more people on staff and volunteers. And maybe you, you can kind of see that realistically their staff are a little off a little bit more travel more and things like that generally. But if you're in a small church or a church plant, especially which I had to experience with um, a satellite campus startup and all of that, you ain't leaving, you're not going anywhere. And so as I got into high school, especially, we had to book our vacations around Sundays. I was never out a Sunday back then ever and still very rarely, very rarely. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of a lot of it too, that kind of, you know, dictated a lot of things for me. All right, so something else is the way we speak. Obviously we speak the same language, but we say things totally different. Sometimes so, whether or not we speak the same language is kind of questionable, yeah, obviously. You. <laughs> like, we, what did I say, if you can think of it, like, that you were just like, what are you even saying? Like, I remember even coming here, everybody talks about this, like, not just you, but me coming here the first time I went to McDonald's, I wanted water. And that's the word, water. You know, like water. Don't tell me I'm saying it wrong because you put a D in it. There's no D in water. But you don't say the R at the end. You say water. Yeah. You don't say the R. Water. So, that's something. First time I went to McDonald's and I wanted water, they were like, what are you saying? Like, what do you want? I said it like five times and then eventually I just put on an American accent and they were like, oh, okay. So that's one thing that we can see that is different is obviously the accent but like what are certain words that are different yeah so i have a hard time remembering this because i've talked to manny for so many years but i people that were around always pointed out or like things that he says totally different i'm trying to think what they always say water is a huge one my family loves that one they always make him say that word to people that they you know it's like the annoying americans <laughs> that like my sister's gonna watch this and say i'm calling her annoying but it's like those annoying americans you would see on a tv show it's like they literally make him say words all the time just because he says it funny um i don't know what i say that's different your your family points things out for me too our families are usually the ones telling us because we're used to it now well, I mean, there's some that we actually do spell differently, so that kind of makes more sense, like aluminum. He says aluminum, but they spell it differently, so that one makes some kind of sense. 
there are a lot of words that we say differently, of course, just because of our accent, but there's also different phrases that we say or things like that. Like for me, I always say like, like for example, I would say like, it's cold as all get out. And Manny hates that. That is that's horrific. More, I think like, it's more of a southern thing. <laughs> my, my parents always said, my parents are from Kentucky originally, so, and their families are both sides. So I think that might be a little more southern thing, but as all get out, I'm sure you guys have heard that if you're American. It's kind of, it, people have heard it at least. And then, but Manny, and I always actually call one of the sisters out for this because she says it a lot. But if you're British, you've heard this before. And to me, it truly makes no sense at all. <laughs> and his sister's gonna see it too, believe this part in. But there's nothing wrong with saying it. I'm not hating on you if you say it. But it's like they, they use it when it doesn't actually make any sense. And like, if I were to be saying, like, we went on a car ride in it, they say in it what and like they will say it like in that kind of situation like what <laughs> and it's i'm assuming and i actually have never really even been explained this has been explained to me i assume this is supposed to mean isn't it that's kind the only thing that makes any use sense it for so many like but they always say in it i n and i t i see people spell it yeah. on, online they always say in it what does that even like i literally don't get it and one of his sisters says it a lot more than anybody that i've ever talked to in times when I feel like it doesn't make sense. It's like you could use it for like, isn't it? Or you you would probably say like, right? Or, uh, you know, like how you But to like, me, it right? sounds like it's supposed to say, isn't it? So it doesn't make sense the way they're using it. Like if they say like, I was driving the car in it. I was driving the car, isn't it? Doesn't make any sense. So I'm so, thinking, isn't it? So if you were saying it like that, you'd be like, I was driving the car in it. So yeah. I went to this <laughs> why, place. Like, why did you need to add that <laughs> word? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to it's me. It's like you just add in some emphasis. That is the main one that I hear British people say, and it's not just his sister. I mean, I've met several his friends or many. I feel like you used to say. It. I don't think you say that I anymore. Yeah, I don't say that much. Yeah, but it was something that the first time I ever heard it, I was like, I don't even have any idea what that means. I've never heard anybody say that ever before. One thing too. Another thing that we seem to say is to be fair. Like, yeah. we say that a lot. Yeah, you kind of say that the way that we would, I think, say to be honest. That's the, the, that's the way that you use it. Like, that's another thing I've heard his sister say a lot. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, yeah, honestly, or to yeah. be honest. But, right. Um, yeah they say to be fair which i that's kind of odd too they're sometimes just like almost the same phrase but they add something a little bit different like, to it would be like to be fair i don't know but you like honestly i don't know yeah i mean we say that too but yeah, yeah to be fair is kind of a common one and i'm sure again this depends on where exactly where you're from the exact area and i know we've talked before about british things versus america and we always get comments it's like I'm British and I didn't eat it that way. I didn't, I didn't say that. I'm American. I've never heard that before. Like I know some places in America, they use very common, like New England area and stuff. It's very common to use the same kind of phrases they use in England from what I've seen online. New England. Yeah. Makes sense. Right. So I feel like that area is a little more like that. And then uh, the area I'm from is not. So it just depends on where you're from. So obviously these are not, there's not a generalization of everybody that's ever lived, but it's just our experience. So. You maybe didn't ever eat eggs and beans and you're British. <laughs> and I'm sure you're going to let us know that. But I know it's different everywhere you go. All right. So that is today's video. Just driving around. I don't know what we're going to call it, but something fun, hopefully. Um, and we're just going to kind of do this every week and maybe add in some more as we kind of get going. Let us know if there's anything you'd like us to talk about. And uh, we'd love to do that. So thank you for watching. See you later. <laughs>